Hello students, let us see this question here. Uh, a geostationary satellite is orbiting the earth at a height of 6 r above the surface of earth. So let us call this as 1 and another and we have to find the time period of another satellite. So let us call this one as 2. So as you all know, T a square is directly proportional to r q. So I can say from here T1 a square upon T2 a square is equal to r1 q divided by r2 q. So from here I can say the T1 that is time period of first one uh, so that is a geostationary satellite so that will be 24 hour Q and this will be 2 T Q right the radius of geostationary satellite the height is 6 hour so 6 hour and plus the radius of earth so that will be 7 hour so that will be 7 hour Q divided by the radius of another satellite so the height of another satellite is 2.5 so 2.5 r plus capital r so that will be 3.5 r q of this so if i do this calculation here so this will be 24 r q divided by t2 q and if you will do this so that will r q r q will get cancelled out and 3.5 is nothing but so n upon 2 so you can say that this will be 7 into 7 into 7 into RQ and this will be 3.5 into 3.5 into 3.5 into RQ. So this will get cancelled out and this is 7 by 2 so that will be 2. This will also become 2 and this will also become 2. So if I do this so that will be 24 R sorry this is a square here. Sorry my mistake this is a square. Okay, so 24, you can say, yeah, this will be 24 into 24 divided by, this will become 8 here, okay, and that is 2T Q, right, everything is okay, All right, uh, see, sorry, this will also be a square, my mistake. This is a square here, right. the left hand side is a square and the right hand side is the Q, so this is Q that is okay and this is a square here 24 r so this is also a square my mistake this is also a square okay and now this is okay right so 24 into 24 that is a square and 2 into 2 into 2 so that will be 8 here and this will be once again square okay so from here i can say this will be 22 right uh, okay and this will be t2 a square so from here i can say 20 22 root and that will be T2. So if we'll do this, so it will get approximately 8.48 R. So that will be T2 and that will be the answer. Okay students, I hope you understood this question.